Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to discuss reverse polarity. What is it, why does it matter, and what to do about it. So one of the most common home inspection findings when it comes to electrical is reversed polarity at an outlet. As a home inspector, we're gonna go around with electrical testers and test all the outlets in the house, or at least the ones that we have access to. And if there's a wiring problem, we will report it. One of the more common ones is reversed polarity. And it basically means that the wires are flipped around at the outlet. One of the wires is supposed to be hot, the other is neutral, and traditional outlets have a large slot and a small slot to help make sure that you don't plug something in backwards. It adds a layer of safety to your receptacle and to what you're plugging in. So if the wiring ends up getting backwards, why does it matter? Well, the way these wires work is that the hot wire is never connected to the earth, but the neutral wire is. So if you're in contact with the earth, which is pretty much always, and you touch a hot wire, you are going to complete that circuit. So normally you should be able to touch any neutral wire and you're not gonna get a shock, but you touch a hot wire and you will. Now, there's neutral wires can still be dangerous. Don't get me wrong, there are scenarios that I'm not gonna dig into for this video. You can still get shocked by neutral wires, but generally speaking, hot wires are much more dangerous. So, why does it matter if they're flipped around? Well, let's just, let's just look at one possible scenario. Let's say you have a lamp, just, just a table lamp. Under normal circumstances, the plug is going to be polarized. It means that one of those slots is larger than the other. Make sure that you can't plug the plug into a receptacle backwards. But if you have reversed polarity at your outlet, you plug it in and now the hot is going to be backwards. So let's say we've got one of these little, this is a lamp socket. Normally, there's a pin inside here and that's going to be what's hot. So the only way you'd get shocked is if you actually stuck your finger into here and touched the pin. But if you have reverse polarity, it means that these threads are actually now energized and you accidentally touch the thread, you're gonna get a shock. That's just one example. I've, I've got another example on my blog about sticking a knife into a toaster. Don't ever do that. But if you have reverse polarity, you would greatly increase your risk of getting shocked or electrocuted. So bottom line is that having reverse polarity at outlets greatly increases the potential for shocks or electrocution. And the fix is to get an electrician out to figure out where the problem occurred and then correct the wiring. Now, many times it's gonna happen right at the outlet. And I'll share with you a quick little story. Uh, don't, don't tell anybody this, but I was once helping a friend of a friend who was repainting a home and she wanted to replace all of her old dingy outlets with new ones. This was, this was a very long time ago when I was much younger and less educated and I helped replace all of these outlets without any regard to which side the wires came in on. It was these older wires, it was these cloth covered wires and you couldn't really tell which one was supposed to be hot and which one was neutral. And I didn't pay any attention to how I took the outlets apart. I put them all back together with new outlets and to make sure that I had wired them properly, I plugged stuff in to make sure that it worked. And of course, everything worked. Appliances will work whether they have reversed polarity or not. So that was my test to make sure it all worked. And I'm sure by the time I was done, my batting average was probably about 500. Uh, I'll bet I got about half of those outlets wired incorrectly. So uh, that's, that's how it can happen. It's when dumb, unqualified people are doing work that they shouldn't be doing. No, I won't say dumb. I was only saying that about myself. I will say unqualified though. So that's one way. It could be done wrong right at the outlet. It might be done wrong upstream from the outlet. You may have a junction box where the wires got put together backwards. 
it's unlikely you might even have this happening at the main breaker panel. The wiring defects can happen there too. So what it comes down to is you would want to get an electrician to figure out where the wiring went wrong, trace it back to its source, and then flip the wires around. The actual work of correcting this condition probably isn't going to be more than about five minutes. It's not that big of a deal to fix this. It might just take a little bit more time to track down where the wiring went wrong. So that's what the issue is, that's why it matters, and that's what to do about it. Thank you for watching.